So I had the uh, question posed on how the e-stop was wired up for my Shapeoko. And I've done a video before on this enclosure prior to it being glued up and everything. Um, but I'll start out. So I have the, uh, the main voltage coming in for my spindle, uh, power supply, spindle, speed controller, uh, which is not controlled anything whatsoever to do with the e-stop. Um, and then I have other power coming in for the gerbil shield uh, coming off separately. So if I take off this plexiglass top here with both the, uh, as you can see, the speed controller potentiometer and the e-stop mounted to it. Uh, if you notice the e-stop, all that it's connected to is the positive line coming from the power supply the external power supply, going into one side of the e-stop, coming out of the other side, and going into the gerb gerb gerbil shield uh, power supply, uh, power in. So when the e-stop button gets pressed, all that's happening is the power is being withdrawn from the gerbil shield, which then seizes the stepper motors from moving. Uh, with the stepper motors stopped is basically what we're doing is we're just stopping the stepper motors from moving. Now the spindle still has its power because uh, the gerbil shield does not control the spindle or the e-stop does not control the spindle power. Um, so the spindle would continue to spin while the stepper motors were, st were stopped. So all it's doing is preventing any more damage from happening and uh, moving on from from there so I hope this helps uh, if you have any more questions let me know